So in the wake of the Hamas terror attack in Israel and Israel's uh, retaliation, which is now also killing massive numbers of civilians, uh, there's been this freak out among many in the far right in the U.S. And um, they're using this in a very nefarious way, in my opinion. So let me show you the argument that they're all going with. They're all saying this at the same time, like NPCs, if you ask me. Charlie Kirk says, We have no idea who is in our country. Just a matter of time before sleeper cell is activated. Buy, buy guns, protect your family and those closest to you. Representative Andy Biggs, how many Hamas sleeper cells have crossed our southern border under the Biden administration policies? We are not prepared. The End Wokeness account says, odds are the sleeper cells are already here. It's only a matter of when. More. The sleeper cells in America won't be sleeping much longer. Stay out of the cities. Laura Loomer, stay out of major cities. There's going to be a massive terrorist attack in big cities over these next 14 months. We have been infiltrated. Our borders are open and... And the push to create a global Islamic caliphate has been activated. You don't want to be in major cities. Stay away. Get out of cities. Sleeper cells are already here. This is deranged. This is deranged. So first of all, this it's not like we haven't seen similar things before. During the peak of the war on terror, when there were a number of Al-Qaeda attacks and ISIS attacks in various places all around the world, um, I remember right-wing media outlets... And I'm not kidding about this. They covered stories where they said, we found an Islamic prayer rug in the desert from Mexico coming into the U.S. So we know ISIS is setting up a sleeper cell here. There was even an example. They either said Al-Qaeda or ISIS set up a training camp in Mexico right on the border with the U.S. to then infiltrate the U.S. and attack. Now, of course, none of that was true. Um, and of course, none of this is true. By the way, they're literally saying Hamas is going to attack within the U.S. If you believe that, you don't know anything about politics. Hamas, did they just do a terror attack in Israel? Yes. Are they a terror group? Militant terror group? Yes. Their goals are not global jihad. That would be ISIS. That would be Al-Qaeda. Okay? Hamas, it has regional, territorial, statehood ambitions for Palestine. They want to get rid of, and I'm sure if it, you know most of the members of Hamas would say this with no bones about it, they want to get rid of all the Jews in the region. And I don't think they care how they do it as long as they get it done, including the most brutal and barbaric ways you can imagine. So yes, they're a terror group, but no, they're not a global jihadist group. The global jihadist group would be ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Hamas is not that. There's some even saying Hezbollah is going to attack them in the U.S. No, Hezbollah is a is a militant group in Lebanon. Again, they are not a global jihadist group. They're not even Sunnis. They're Shia in Hezbollah. Like, people comment on politics. They don't know the first thing about politics. If you think Hamas is going to do an attack within the U.S., you just have no idea what you're talking about. None whatsoever. And so, and then also, of course, the most obvious point to bring up here is they have this idea that, like, Biden's so weak on the border, the border's open, and we know it, all these people are coming in, including terrorists. Biden has kept in place a lot of Trump's border policies. Remain in Mexico was in place for a very long time. Title 42 was in place for a very long time. Now we got news. He greenlit 20 miles of a border wall in an area with high traffic. So even that notion is wrong. It's like, what? You think all of Customs and Border Protection steps down as soon as, soon as Biden became president? No. There's no more border protection as soon as Biden goes. No. That's not true. Never mind the fact it's obviously not true that you have Hamas sneaking into our country and activating a sleeper cell. Oh my God, they don't know anything. They don't know anything. And they think they're like, like we're the truth tellers here, bro. Like we keep it real. All the liberals are stupid. This is stupid. You have a US congressperson saying a Hamas sleeper cell is infiltrating through the southern border. Literally less than no evidence for that. And that makes no sense on its face. So in, in other words, use this moment with this terror attack in Israel um, and the response from the Israeli government, push maximum fear, you know, like shock doctrine type stuff. And they might use this to try to ramp up, uh, get even more draconian and primitive with border policy. It's just, it's, it's just all so pathetic. This is just so, so pathetic. But this is what happens to the discourse.
It degrades more and more over time. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.